Hello guys, it's Kevin here, and today we are actually going to do something that you guys probably don't even know how to do. It's called how to make Proto Smasher themes. Now you guys might think like it's so hard making Proto Smasher themes, well I'm about to make it easier for you. So you're about to you're click on main <laughs> theme, you're gonna go to Proto Smasher release and click on themes, and then you're just going to extract files, click on the desktop, and then click on OK. Now it should like a release a lot of stuff, right? You're gonna make a folder. You're gonna name it whatever your theme theme is gonna be. <laughs> and we're just going to copy everything one by one. And put it in the purple. And when you open it, this should happen. Now, you should get paint.net installed on your computer. Paint, get dot paint dot net, I think. No, it's get paint dot net. I think. I don't know. Just search up paint dot. Oh, yeah, it's get paint dot net. And you just gotta click this download right here. And then click on this download now, but dot pdn, and then click right here. But I already downloaded it, so I'm not gonna click it. Okay, once you're done, set your open PNG files to paint.net. Oh, one thing. And then open this in paint.net. Now we have background. The background, whatever you want the background to be, you can put. You can just remove it all by pressing Control A and Control X and put it whatever you want. Since it's the purple theme, we're gonna put purple. Then click on this little disc icon right here. I should say okay. Click on okay. Background settings. This is pretty much the same thing. So just redo that and boom. Okay. Open the next one. You can do control and scroll up in your mouse so you can go further in the clear you're gonna click on this magic wand right here and you're just gonna click the black icon and you're just gonna click on control X and then click on the L and control those also go back up click on your paint icon or you if you want to add in pictures just add in another layer with this and then drag it down and so we're just gonna add our purple. And then we're now you have to <coughs> you have to put it in layer, click on save. Now if you just want a if you just want a color and you're not gonna add in any picture, simple, simple stuff. Just do it. Boom. And this too. Clear. There you go. Those gonna add in another one. And I'll see the same thing for clear. After you click on save, and click on OK. Now that may look good to your appearance, but once you do it, it's gonna look very good. Magic wand, boom, and add in your color or whatever it is. Remember to add a layer and drop it down if you want to do it. It's pretty easy. <coughs> and remember to click that disc and click on OK. Now, if you guys are got confused, I can make a proto smasher themes just for you so you can type it in the comment section how to do it it's pretty easy actually so just keep on doing what you're doing pretty easy you just get used to it basically Sorry, my brother's playing TF2. 
I'm gonna make a TF2 theme for him. Well, you literally, if you're if you're just gonna do a color, I literally just figured it out. All you have to do is just click on this, and then just fill in the other parts. Oh. Maybe maybe we need to remove that first and do that. That was easy. New tab has a lot of things to do. And it, and it doesn't look too good, so let's just remove it. That's what it's gonna look like. New tab. Just gonna hover. Boom. 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 Open file, same thing. Make sure you get these little uh, things right here too. Simple, simple, simple. This is just so simple. And this is only going to take you about a couple sec uh, minutes. Which is this video is about to be, and I'll, you know, I'll just release this in the description. Can you make a TF2 so, special? Yeah. Okay, Jonathan. I'll we'll make a TF2 theme too. I have I'll an idea. It, I'll really make it one. with a. T yeah, I'll make it like you want it to. <laughs> I have an idea for one. Okay, I got it. Okay, I'll do it, John. Every single black, yeah, where you add it. the icons uh, and make it really slick yeah. and slick. Jonathan, I'll do it. I'll do it. Okay, Jonathan, I'll do it. Stop. Stop. Okay, <laughs> we're done. Basically, gotta remove this. Now we're done. <laughs> no, we're not done. Now. You go to your Google Chrome and you're gonna search up JSON Editor Online dot org. Click on Open from Disk. You're gonna click on Choose File. You're gonna click on your theme and the folders. And click on Theme Settings dot JSON. Click on Open. Now it should say like, see this, and then click over here. It should say main theme, author, other 58. You're going to change this to purple theme. And whatever this is called. Um, whatever you want. You know, whatever author it's going to be. Click on save to disk. You see this? And just drag this into the folder. Delete this one and name this theme settings and now this can be pretty much it but now you have to do this you have to grab you're gonna make new and then click on word more zip archive you're gonna name this purple theme or whatever you wanted to call just make sure it's no spaces. Well, I don't really do spaces. I'm gonna move this into copy. Now you're gonna click on Proto Smash Release, and you're just gonna click on Themes, and you're just gonna drag this in there. Now go back. <laughs> oh my God, my Windows Defender always takes away Proto Smasher. Sorry. <laughs> okay. 
There you go. All right, open Photo Smasher UI, rewrite, down button, and click on the cabin theme. Your purple theme. Look at it. You finished. It looks really awesome. See, that's how you make a theme. That is how you make a theme. And with this, I made a cavern theme, which is blue and has a really nice design. So that's how you make it, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Next video will be about Roblox something. I don't know. I'll just think of something. But bye, guys. See you guys in the next video.